Hey guys, alright, this is my fourth video today, so <laughs> I left Who Should You Choose a little late today, I apologize, I had a meeting this morning and uh, I almost didn't do it, but you know, we got a commitment here on Sleeveless Gaming, so another episode of Who Should You Choose, guys, if you haven't watched it before, basically I go through the prior videos, comments and questions, and answer your hut lineup decisions, make sure you guys are subscribed with notifications on so that you know when this video goes live, because sometimes in the morning, sometimes at night, and usually you gotta be first or close to it to get your question read. That being said, you can also check me out live on Twitch, I stream every single day, starting at 12 Eastern time if you ever need help with your lineup decisions. Alright, so I gotta keep this video a little bit shorter because, well, uh, I can barely stay awake. So, let's get into... Today's episode of Who Should You Choose, and we will start off with Inverse Toast. My man says, hey, Sleeves, love the bids. Thanks, man. I went out and got Kachuk, and he's been amazing. I now have 150,000 coins. I was wondering who I should save up for. Here is my team. All right, Fleur, Kachiri, Kachuk, Carbono, Lemieux, Gretzky, Ronit, Koivu, Pasta. All right, so you're getting a centerman here. <clears throat> And you've got about 150k. I still love the value of the uh, 88 Kopitar. However, that new 91 Giroux is stupid cheap for some reason. And it might go up. I don't know. It might just be because it's Wednesday and prices are usually cheaper. Go get that because you're going to lose Ronick. That's going to be a phenomenal card to replace with. After that, the Larry Murphy. You've got the team build Larry Murphy. Um, I'm assuming you would need... Uh, I don't even see... You don't have Workhorse activated. So... Um, I would, uh, you need a right-handed defenseman. I can't think of any top of my head. I'd, I'd much rather, you, you said you have 85 Ronick. That isn't as good as the, nearly as good as the, uh, <clears throat> as uh, the Giroux. I would worry about that first before your last pairing defenseman. All right. Hey, Sleeves, love the content. I've definitely gotten better from the gameplay reviews. I'm glad that you said that, guys. I've been posting my gameplay reviews. It's something we do on stream Monday through Wednesday every single week. I've been posting them on YouTube. Um, check them out, guys. Uh, again, even though it might not be your gameplay that's being reviewed, um, I've found a lot that it's been helpful with you know guys that are roughly in the same division. And even if you're not, man, like I did HK the other day, and it was like he's literally won the U.S. regional. So um, it's all levels, and uh, it's been really fun to look over your gameplay. So. I uh, hate to see the pack luck yesterday. <laughs> that was rough. But I pulled Leclerc and Hellebuck and 93 Panarin in mine. Wow. So after I sold, I have 1.4 mil. I think team of the year McCarr would be a good fit <clears throat> to pair with Hedman. I'm gonna I'm going for Barrage. and not sure what a good price term will be. And wondering, is the 94 Ronick in packs or just a loan? It's, in, it's just a loan. I'm not sure what the... Uh, what the plan is for um, Ronick after he's gone. Uh, however, pairing, who you're looking to pair with, yeah. So you have Latang. You definitely need a right-handed defenseman for sure. Um, Panera would, I mean, sorry, Makar would be a good option. Um, he, he A good price, though, dude. You're not going to get any team of the years under a mil. So keep that in mind. Caboose says, hey, Sleeves, love the content. Here's my team. I grabbed Panarin uh, because he was selling for 302k last night, and I thought he'd be increased in price. I was thinking of selling him and grabbing Myers. Also, I love Fantasy Stone. He's been great on my team. Thanks for all <coughs> all you do. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Kind words, my dude. Okay. He says he likes Mark Stone. Okay. Um so Myers would definitely be where I would go first because of your defenseman. Also, look for the 91 Line A to replace Sagan eventually after because if you like Mark Stone, Line A is a really good option. Chase says, Chase uh, says I have, a, I have a team of base cards still on it. Should I sell Crosby and even up my team or keep him as the star? You're talking about the 93 Crosby. Ooh. Honestly, I would probably keep him because you won't need to get... Ugh, it's tough, man. I would probably wait until the event is over and then sell him. Right now, I don't know what it is, guys, but this market for the master items in this event are so stupid low. I'm not sure why. <clears throat> Unless the next event absolutely knocks out of the park, I, I can see that all the master items going up in price. So, Hey, Sleeves, I was wondering what to do about my defense or any other moves I could make. I have zero coins. Here's my help. Right, let's take a look.
Yeah. Uh, you're going to want to get rid of a defenseman first. You need a right-handed defenseman. That's where you want to save your coins. And you need, like, a stud, man. Like, I would look for, um, you know, primetime Petrie is a good option. Uh, any of those new cards, like, th those are the ones I'm looking at. You need to, That's where I would focus my attention first because Rafael Diaz obviously not uh, not good enough, in my opinion. So look for that. Capitals SC, yo, I'm looking to make or I'm looking to make this team build. I need Matthew Kachuk and 92 Ovi, so that is what I'm working towards. I need to buy Murphy, Ovi, Moser, and then make Kachuk. I just wanted your opinion first. You're the expert after all. <laughs> Let me know your opinions and where I can go next. Thanks to you, Sleeves. I've been able to take my game to the next level, made Division 2 because of your defensive tips and all the gameplay reviews. You're the best. Dude, thank you. Edit, will 89 franchise Crosby be able to get traded with the Sunsets? No. So um, it looks like just the master items are going to be in the Sunsets. So they started with Lit versus Grit. So the next one is going to be Halloween? Or Duo. Dynamic Duo, I think. Um. Okay. He's got Kachuk, Couturier, Ovi, Crosby, Hughes, Gabrick. No, that's a solid team, bro. There we go. If it, wow, look at all the synergies too. No, that's a solid team build, dude. Solid team build. That McKinnis is real slow though, so be careful with that. No sleeves to the moon, says Jeffrey Fernandez. Hey sleeves, Castle Wayne here. Thanks for the gameplay review yesterday, and you got my team in yesterday's. Who should you choose? I actually went behind the net and won two in a row. So your gameplay review seriously helped, dude. I'm super happy to hear all the gameplay review responses because those videos haven't been getting a ton of views compared to my other stuff. Um, and I swear guys, if you are looking to improve your gameplay, those gameplay reviews, not only are they insanely fun for me to do because, well, I don't have the thumb skill to be super elite. I have a lot of the strategy and, uh, man, some of my closest friends are the best in the world. So I've watched more esports than pretty much anyone when it comes to NHL. So a lot of it comes from them guys. So, uh, yeah, just let, let me know. Watch that. I just released one tonight as well. A hey, got the 94 Hamilton and 700 K. Let's go insert your promo here. See, it's true. Thanks for everything you do, bro. Good looking out, my dog. Uh, free to play. Uh, let's take a look. Neely, what's he wants? First things first, thank you for the dedication. You make the community much more positive, as I'm sure you're aware it can be toxic at times. <laughs> my pack look has been better than it has than it ever has in the past few days. I pulled the 91 Burns and the 90 Salming, untradeable, fortunately, too. That Salming is gross if you're trying to activate Barrage. I'm trying to get it on my team. Their sins aren't the best, but it gave me more flexibility to move Doughty and Weber. I'm wondering what the next move is. I currently have... I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> I currently have a few handedness issues, and it's tough to fix with Kachuri on the wing as he's a dominant center. Yeah, you don't want to put him on the wing. The handedness issue is to keep the main four sins active. Howitzer, Speedster, Spark, Distributor. Once JR is expired, I'm thinking of keeping Spark alive with an addition. Since activating Spark, I've only been able to achieve a 500 in Rivals for some reason. Is this in my head? I'm Div 5 and 6, and I was progressing, but perhaps I've plateaued. Advice? It's just activating spark will not you know only good things uh yeah you're just guys when i'll talk about this quickly if you hit a certain level like say you win a bunch rivals the game mode of rivals is basically it's a skill-based matchmaking that's basically designed to make you go 500 so you'll go on a decent win streak of four in a row then you'll lose four in a row that kind of thing the only way you break the plateaus is by watching pro players or youtubers or you know, you're in the practice mode, you're in the lab learning the quote-unquote glitch goals or strategies and things like that. Unless you change the strategies of how you play, it, I equate it to golf. Like, if you are a bad golfer and you go to the driving range, you can go to the driving range a million times. All you're going to do is practice your shitty swing, okay? So keep that in mind, man. Like, you know, you can hit a, you can hit a million balls, but if, if, all you're, if you're not learning some new mechanics or fixing that, you're just practicing your crappy swing, dude. So, um, you know, watch the gameplay reviews that I do. Go and check out my defensive tutorial, my how to score videos. That'll really help. But yeah, that's just in your head. In terms of your team, um, Neely, Lemieux, and Gretzky, Couturier, Lone, Bellavo. Yeah, see, I would, I mean, if you're going to do anything, I would upgrade, upgrade Sundin to the 91 and then put him, put him near the top of Couturier, move Lemieux to the wing. That's what I would do. And then you've got another, oh, you've got Oshie there. I would get rid of this Neely and get a left-handed winger, dude. That's probably what I would do. Your defense is stacked. Yo, Sleeves, I need your help. I don't know where to go. I'm hoping you can help here. All right, so he's got Lemieux. All right, I have Distributor Swarm. I've also been loving 90 Flurry, who I got for 86K, and I have 800,000 coins. I'll have enough 
She seems to get OEL at the end of the event if everything goes to plan. I'm thinking of getting Larry Murphy to replace Drysdale, who should go... Who should I go after on offensive defense? I want to add size on D and speed on O. Thanks a lot. Keep it up. Okay. Well, if you... I mean, size on defenseman, man. How many coins do you have? Does it say? You have 800,000 coins? Dude, I would look... If you have 800,000 coins, I'm looking at... Oh, damn. You need a defenseman, man. Um, I would go and grab um, Clef Bomb or OEL, whatever one fits well for you right here. Wait, didn't you say you had OEL? Okay, you're going to make OEL at the end of the event? I, if you're going to make him at the end of the event, I'm almost tempted to say go and get Hamilton as well because he's falling in price. I think he'll go up at the end of the event. On offense, bro, like you could try and get the, the 91 Howie Morenz. That could be an option for Gabarik, but... Outside of that, man, um, dry, replacing dry sidle with something would be huge as well because he's just too big, and I don't like the 89. I don't know if you do, but... Yo, Sleeves, this is my team. I would say the most expendable player on my team is the 85 MySack because I have 5 out of 4 speedster, and he has the lowest overall. So based on my synergy situation, which winger should I replace MySack with? Tried going from Rams with the 80, 86 set, struck out. Uh, Yeah, it's MySack. <laughs> How many coins do you have? It doesn't say how many coins you have. Um, oh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. You need a good left-handed winger card. Lefty, lefty. Oh, dude, you know what you could do? You just go and get base McDavid, bro. Like, he's better than... Yeah, then just go get base McDavid. And you're almost you almost have two out of three for uh um a magician as well. Joseph J says, Hey sleeves, I have distributor and spark and I'm working towards barrage. I have ninety one winter national Carlson tradable. Do you think I should sell him and make fantasy McCarr for the extra barrage point or should I keep sell the slash sell slash keep the Carlson and pick up another card waiting for Hmm. If it's one for one, the I would I, the ninety two Carlson is where you get the big bump because I believe he's got workhorse. That's a like that's a big the ninety one I would probably do for my car. Yeah, solid. Questions: When should I sell Carlson Master Set eighty nine since cards have started to have more synergies now? Uh, which Master Icon should I upgrade? I'm thinking Sakic and Lafleur first to have more flexibility to make Barrage. I don't know what ones you have. Sakic's gonna be a good one because he's pretty good. All like Lafleur is already so good. Like you're improving upon like durability and and aggression, and the, there's really no need. You know he's already so max, so he's kind of low on the rung. Sundin is number one in my opinion, just because of how good he becomes. Sakic would be the next one because he would really take a big jump. I want a way to get Spark, and I don't know who I should choose. I have 100 150 k and 750 gold players, dude. You can get that 90 Saku Koivu for like 200 k right now. That's probably I would look at. Should I grab 86 Cal Foot to replace 83 Duo Hamilton? Yes. It doesn't seem like much of an upgrade, if any at all. It, it's he has like he has some things like his stats are improved in other places. That's a very like upgrade. That, that's like the next upgrade. Picked up an 89 Petrie, so either I need to snag a right D and a goalie to make with distributor, or upgrade Morenz and figure another right D. I sold Joseph and Yandel. 350,000 coins, seven GCs. Also, should I chase a Masters from this event? Yeah, there is way too many. Like all of them are so good, man. I didn't do much rivals and squad battles this week, but I should have enough players for collectibles next week. I would, yeah, like any position that's phenomenal. Um, there is not a lot of good right defensemen with, with distributor, man. There just isn't. Um, you could upgrade Morenz. Um, that probably where I would go. Hey, Sleeves, just changed up the team to activate distributor spark and swarm for the first time. Also, I have speedster. Free to play, but I'm really good at making coins in the market. I've got around 2.5 million with 12 GCs and 11 GCs. Oh, my God. 84 Duchesne, trust me, he's still a guy. <laughs> Bruh, I mean, hey, if he's working for you, sure, man. But you have got 2.5 million coins, bro. Go and get, like... 
Math like the Matthew. First of all, go get Matthew Kachuk to replace Philpola, but then go get like the ninety four McDavid, bro. Live a little. You know what I'm saying? The Daniel Sedin is untradeable. Natan is also untradeable, dude. Like, oh man, dude. I'll go get Sundin, bro. Bro, you 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 do not have a good enough team. Sorry, you do not have the team that you should have with the amount of cool. Go have some fun, bro. Go get like the top end guys. Have a blast. Your team needs to be way better. You've worked really hard on the market. Congrats, my man. Um, but dude, go and live a little. That Sundin would be first, to be honest with you. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for tonight, too. Should you choose tomorrow, we'll be back in the morning, I believe. I don't have another meeting. So, uh, all right, guys, thank you again for everything. Subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I'll see you guys later.